Okay, another quick review here. On the bench today, I've got this nice little Bluetooth speaker. And this is um, Bluetooth to your phone. Uh, basically, it's a audio system for your car. So this sits up in your um, on your visor. Here's a few pictures of that. Uh, so you can see it just sitting there nicely um, right by your mouth, right by your face as you're driving. So the idea beside, behind this is that you turn it on um, basically for receiving phone calls, etc. So I was looking for a way. I do use my phone on speakerphone, but that doesn't work all the time because my phone's down in my pocket or wherever. So this thing recognizes when you get in the car by motion. So if it gets jarred or moved at all, there's an accelerometer in here that turns it on and you'll hear it come on and say its thing and let you know that it's on. Then if you receive a phone call and you want to answer it, you just click this button to answer it. There's also a volume down and a volume up button. This does nothing and this is a speaker. That's basically it. Other than that, there is a uh, on off switch here, an indicator light and a charge port. So it has its own battery inside. Um, I've had it for three weeks now I would say and I use it every day. It's always on in my car. Um, I took it out just now so I could bring it in and show you. But um, that's it. So the battery and it also tells you your battery warning. So if your battery gets low it'll say battery low. Um, it tells you battery high when it's high, when it's fully charged doesn't tell you about your medium, but that's fine. This is the box that it came with. Um, pretty straightforward. On the back it has some built-in, it has some specifications. Um, you can read through those. If you want to pause this video, you can see those here. And inside the box we have the instruction manual, of course, which is fairly well written. Um, I read through it. I like to read through these things. There's the odd English, you know, grammatical error or whatever, but it, it's fairly straightforward. Um, talks about how to use it. It's, I mean, it's, it's really straightforward. You can also play music and stuff through this, although the quality of the audio through this, I don't prefer that. I have another system that I play through my, through my speaker. So it's in, looks like it's in English, German, uh, Spanish, and Italian. Looks like your language is there for the manual. It comes with a USB cord that is actually quite long. I'll stretch that out and run it right through. I would say that's probably th a 3 foot or 36 inch um, USB cord and that just is for charging. It also comes with a nice little um, cigarette lighter adapter so that plugs into your power port or your cigarette lighter on your car and then you have two ports coming out of that so that's kind of handy. You could either charge it in your car or leave it plugged in full time and it would charge when your car is on. Um, I don't do that and like I said three weeks I've been using this pretty every day for at least an hour, hour and a half a day when I'm driving around and it hasn't run out of batteries yet. Let's quickly throw it on the scale because somebody's going to want to know how much does it weigh and it weighs a whopping 89 grams. As far as size measurement goes there's my large hand and it fits in it nicely. It's kind of, I don't know, I'd call it two and a half by three inches or something. I'll give you a specific measurement here because everybody's interested in exact sizing these days. Um, so that's about 74 and a half millimeters wide by let's call it 97, we'll say 97 millimeters long and as far as a thickness right around 30, 31 millimeters. The other thing to note, and I'll just turn it on here quickly, you can hear it, the voice is one of its own. Here listen to this. Power on. Device connected. So it's connected, it's ready to go. Um, my phone is actually, oh there, now it's connected, there's the beep. My phone is actually in the next room, so that's about four or five meters away and it's still connecting just fine. So quickly, I'll bring my phone in. You can pretend that that's just sitting in your car somewhere or whatever. And you can see that the Google functions work on here. I've got an Android uh, Galaxy S9 Plus, so we'll try that. Okay, Google, what time is it? There you go. So that was through this speaker here. So that's a good good thing to do. Um, I really like this thing. We'll get rid of that. You know it's 933 now. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a Bluetooth um, car option, then this is the way to go. And like I say, it'll turn off automatically when it's not being moved around as you're driving. And then when you get back in the car, it senses that you got in the car and the, just the movement of that turns it back on. So that does save battery life. Pretty cool little function. And if you're looking for a Bluetooth car audio speaker for your phone specifically, um, this is a great option, and when you turn it off, here's what she says. Power off. There you go.